Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Willis, and you will love economics. When government uses fiscal policy to return the economy to long-run equilibrium, it sets off a chain reaction that impacts every economic participant and all economic indicators across the aggregate economy. Let's investigate the effects of fiscal policy and how fiscal policy works. When the economy is in a recessionary gap, the government will implement expansionary fiscal policy to stimulate aggregate demand. Government has two policy options, increase government spending or decrease personal taxes. When government increases its expenditures, government acts as a consumer and purchases goods and services in the domestic economy. The increase in government spending will increase aggregate demand, which causes a degree of short-run economic growth. However, even after that growth, the effects of the fiscal policy continue to ripple throughout the economy in what is known as the multiplier effect. When government spending stimulates aggregate demand, it signals to firms across the economy that they need to increase the quantity of products that they supply in order to meet higher demand. In order to boost output production, firms will increase their investment spending and acquire new labor. And so new jobs are generated and unemployed workers find work. As more workers are hired and earn a wage for their labor, income levels rise, leading to a wave of new spending in the aggregate economy. With rising income levels, consumer spending increases driving aggregate demand to higher levels. In the end, the initial increase in government expenditures, combined with the multiplier effect of consumer spending set off by that policy, boosted aggregate demand, slashed the unemployment rate to 4 to 6 percent, increased the standard of living, and returned the economy to its full employment level of real GDP output. When government decreases personal taxes, government is trying to jumpstart consumer spending by allowing consumers to keep a larger portion of their disposable income. When consumers use their tax savings to purchase goods and services, it will increase aggregate demand, which causes a degree of short-run economic growth. However, even after this growth, the effects of the policy continue to ripple throughout the economy through the multiplier effect. When consumer spending stimulates aggregate demand, it signals to firms across the economy that they need to increase the quantity of products that they supply in order to meet higher demand. In order to boost output production, firms will increase their investment spending and acquire new labor. And so new jobs are created and unemployed workers find work. As more workers are hired and earn a wage for their labor, income levels rise, leading to a wave of new spending in the aggregate economy. With rising income levels, consumer spending increases, driving aggregate demand to higher levels. In the end, the initial increase in consumption caused by the decrease in personal taxes combined with the multiplier effect of consumer spending set off by that policy, boosted aggregate demand, slashed the unemployment rate to 4 to 6 percent, increased the standard of living, and returned the economy to its full employment level of real GDP output. When the economy is in an inflationary gap, government will implement contractionary fiscal policy to reduce aggregate demand. Government has two policy options, decrease government spending or increase personal taxes. When government decreases its expenditures, government acts as a consumer and reduces consumption of goods and services in the domestic economy. This decrease in government spending will decrease aggregate demand, which causes a degree of short-run economic contraction. However, even after this contraction, the effects of the policy continue to ripple throughout the economy through the multiplier effect. When aggregate demand slows due to a decrease in government spending, it signals to firms across the economy that they need to decrease the quantity of products they supply to adjust for lower demand. In order to scale back output production, firms will decrease their investment spending and cut back on labor, and so jobs are eliminated and some workers become unemployed. With less workers earning a wage for their labor, income levels fall, leading to a wave of decreased spending in the aggregate economy. With falling income levels, consumer spending decreases, driving aggregate demand to lower levels. In the end, the initial decrease in government expenditures, combined with the multiplier effect of reduced consumer spending set off by that policy, reduced aggregate demand, drove down excessive inflation, 
and return the economy to its full employment level of real GDP output. When government increases personal taxes, government is trying to slow consumer spending by taking a greater portion of disposable income away from consumers. When consumers lose their income to taxes, they purchase fewer goods and services, and aggregate demand will decrease, which causes a degree of short-run economic contraction. However, even after this contraction, the effects of the fiscal policy continue to ripple throughout the economy through the multiplier effect. When aggregate demand slows due to a decrease in consumer spending, it signals to firms across the economy that they need to decrease the quantity of products they supply to adjust for lower demand. In order to scale back output production, firms will decrease their investment spending and cut back on labor, and so jobs are eliminated and some workers become unemployed. With less workers earning a wage for their labor, income levels fall, leading to a wave of decreased spending in the aggregate economy. With falling income levels, consumer spending decreases, driving aggregate demand to lower levels. In the end, the initial increase in personal taxes combined with the multiplier effect of reduced consumer spending set off by that policy, reduced aggregate demand, drove down excessive inflation, and returned the economy to its full employment level of real GDP output. And that's the effects of fiscal policy. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the red button below so you can receive alerts about new videos when they become available. If you enjoy the channel or find my videos useful, let me know by liking the video and feel free to leave a comment below. We have full video lectures on every topic in macro and microeconomics, as well as quick macro and micro minute videos for cram sessions and quick reviews. If you'd like to learn more, you can click here for my propensities and multipliers video, or you can click here for my macro minute video on the multiplier effect. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on You Will Love Economics.